In this video, we are going to go over the major vessels that branch off of the abdominal aorta. Now, keep in mind that a lot of these vessels will branch further and actually interconnect together with other vessels and become a little more complicated, but we're going to mainly focus on the immediate branches here off of the abdominal aorta. So let's start at the top. So this would be right underneath the diaphragm where the abdominal aorta starts. And the very first branch is the celiac trunk right here. It's a very short little branch that then almost immediately branches into three other major vessels. So the first one we have here going off to the right would be the splenic artery. So splenic referring to the spleen, which is what it supplies blood to. Right. And then we have this branch here called the left gastric artery, gastric referring to the stomach, which is what it supplies blood to. And then the third branch from the celiac trunk is the common hepatic artery. So hepatic refers to the liver and this supplies blood to the liver. Right. And then moving on down the abdominal aorta, the next branch we come across is the superior mesenteric artery. The superior mesenteric artery supplies blood to a majority of the intestines, so all of the small intestines, as well as the first couple segments of the large intestine. Right, moving down from that, we have on the left and right here, the renal arteries. And so renal is referring to the kidneys, which is what they supply blood to. And then next we come across the left and right gonadal arteries. These are also sometimes referred to more specifically as the ovarian or testicular arteries, depending on if we are um, looking at a male or a female, right? and they will supply blood to those reproductive organs. And then finally, the last branch off of the aorta is the inferior mesenteric artery. Right? And this artery is going to supply blood to the remaining portions of the large intestine that were not supplied by the superior mesenteric artery.